Hi, I'm Gabby, and I'm a chicken farmer from North Georgia. And today, I want to share with y'all an old tradition of mine, which is the annual mouse hunt. Well, I wouldn't really call it a hunt, and <laughs> you'll see why. Let me start with saying that my family's chicken farm is a breeder farm, which means that this chicken house's sole purpose is to collect fertilized eggs. We have the chickens for about 10 months, and after the 10 months, the flock is taken from the house. Once the flock leaves the house, we must clean and repair the entire house before the next flock comes in. If you're curious about some of the jobs we do for cleaning and repairing the chicken house, I already have a video on it, and there's a link to it in the description. This video, however, is focused solely on the job of controlling the mouse population. During the season, the chicken and, and the mice live in two different worlds. Mice and chickens have little to no interaction during the season. Once the chickens leave, however, the mice completely take over. Some years the mouse population is tiny and you won't see them at all during the day, even when the chickens are gone. But this year, that's, that's not the case. The mouse population this year is large, so that means that the population must be shrunk before they can cause damage to the chicken house. A large mouse population can cause serious damage to a chicken house. And now that the chickens are gone, the mice are able to move all throughout the house and damage everything. This means I have to shoot and poison as many as I can. This hunt only happens when the slats are moved, revealing the tons and tons of chicken litter where the mice make their homes. Mice only live in the chicken litter and in the walls of the chicken house. The ceilings belong to the rats, and the rats have no problem killing and eating mice. In years past, I've used my Daisy Red Rider or some other lever action BB gun to do the job. But now that I'm older, I, I can afford some fancier BB guns. The revolver uh, is a Crossman Vigilante, and the machine pistol is a Umarex Steelstorm. Both can do the job, but I'm still looking for that perfect BB gun for this kind of work. <laughs> I've been searching for many years for that perfect chicken farmer's BB gun, and I have yet to find it. To me, this perfect BB gun needs to have the following qualities, which, which are high BB velocity, High, high capacity magazines that are removable and are cheap to buy. <laughs> it needs to be a uh, blowback, so a single action trigger. It needs to have great sights and it has to be very reliable. I bought a Umarex Steel Force two years before this video and it broke after six months. So I was kind of weary about buying a Steel Storm. But I knew I had to have it because I had a feeling that the mouse population was very was very big this year. I killed a lot of mice this year. A lot. But I barely put a dent in the population. This is where the poison comes in, and the poison will shrink the population significantly. This is one of those ancient traditions on the farm that formed my love of air guns due to the very uncommon relationship I have with them which is the fact that I use these guns for pest control I know a lot of people when they think of using air guns for pest control they're thinking about brake barrels or PCPs but for more than 10 years now I've been using lever action and CO2 BB guns as a tool to keep the mouse population down while these tools are adequate enough to kill a mouse they are more hobby fun guns to shoot cans with rather than actual tools I would love to see some manufacturer design a BB gun that can be considered a work gun rather than a children's toy after this year I think I'm gonna find some blowback pistol with cheap skinny stick mags separate from the CO2 and I think that would be the best merger of my current setup being a double action revolver and a machine pistol with terrible sights. Just terrible sights. Anyways, 
I hope this helped illuminate mouse control on a breeder chicken farm. I wouldn't apply this information to other types of chicken farms because they might have certain requirements that prevent them from using BB guns or poison. But anyways, thanks for watching.